Hey guys, welcome to an episode, a holiday episode. We call it Fusion Blues with a Z because I couldn't find the other S. Never buy a marquee sign, an Econo art, blah, 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 rented lips, marquee sign that doesn't have extra letters and because then you, you have, end up using Z's and things like that. And Z to me at my age means this. Anyway, Fusion Blues. I haven't had this one out in a while. The dreaded guitar flyby. I haven't had this out in a couple of years and I wanted you to see it again on the 4th of July. Yeah, it is a Fusion Blues N6000 Metropolitan Special. I think somebody had John D'Angelico or Jimmy DeQuista in mind. Look, it has Grover Imperial tuners, the stair step can, tuners. If you can find these, a, a set of them for $200, jump all over them. But yeah, it's got a lot of nice stuff on it. It was made in 2006. It's a Chinese guitar. It has a spruce top, a real spruce carved top, maple sides and back. It's got all of the attributes you could want the gold package like you could put on well you would dress up your three thousand dollar celica with four thousand dollars of the gold trim yeah it's all that and more now this guitar was premiered in 2006 at the NAMM show, N-A-M-M, -M. that's a big deal. They put a lot of money into catalogs and stocking up the show. The company that made these was out of business completely by 2009. You can't find a reference to them, but if you can find one of these, they're pretty economical, but they got the best stuff on them. They sound great, and as of 4th of July, you know that's Nirvana, don't you? Come on, posers, pick up the pace. Anyway, we're going to go see Frank Goldwasser. You know Frank. He plays in guinea pigs. My guitars, we're going over. We're leaving hotter than hell, Lake of Fire, Acton, California here on July 4th. And we're going over to where it's much cooler in Ventura, California, cultural capital of the world. We're going to see Frank give this a whirl, and I will show you the footage here in a minute. So, hey, happy holidays, happy 4th of July, and I want to share something with you real quick here. Let's get serious. Okay, you all know that I've got a license plate guitar being built right now. There's a series of episodes up there. Click that link. We'll tell you about Wayne's guitar. Anyway, on this 4th of July, I want to share something with you. I've got this 1932 Mississippi license plate. Um, they're rare, uh, but what's rare about this one is it has never been on a vehicle because I got it in its original mailing envelope. And I want to remind you that Independence Day is every day for somebody. Our, our stuff goes back to 1776 when they signed the Declaration of Independence, but I want you to notice this. Let me grab Chick Flick Teal Pointer, who is extremely patriotic. But I want you to notice that Carl White, the state auditor in Mississippi in 1932, when he sent you these plates, if they didn't make it to your house, they got delivered to the sheriff. Now, I want you to know something here. Do you see there's lines where you fill in who it's going to? They did that by hand back then. They didn't have computers and things. But it says for, you see what that says there? It says MR period, Mr. The period, that doesn't leave room for an S or anything else. So in 1932 in Mississippi, it appears to me that only a male could buy a license plate for a car. I want you to think about that. That's significantly after 1776. And this just goes to show you, it's always Juneteenth somewhere. Think about that. So I'm going to put this on a license plate guitar. I want you to notice the last three numbers here 
you can make the combination of 619 or Juneteenth out of it. If you don't know what Juneteenth is, I'm going to give you a link below. Check that out. But remember, while you're celebrating and hammering on them beers or whatever it is you got in that pipe, you want to remember that somebody needs an Independence Day tomorrow and you can help. I'm going to put this on the back of the guitar so everybody can see just how far we've come, but maybe how much further we have to go. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you will give me a like and a subscribe. And as always, Frank, thanks. You are the best at handing a junk guitar and you just go to town with it. So see y'all soon. Happy Fourth of July.
Well, all right.
feels like a really old guitar is what it feels like. It sounds like that really that reson that resonance that you want from a, from an old arch top. It really has that you know it really vibrates. It has that really acoustic resonance to it. Even through the amp, when the amp was really breaking up like crazy, it still feel the acoustic resonance in the guitar. I love that. I just can't get enough of that.